it's Scott again uh, from Edgebound. I've uh, got another problem uh, from a student. Uh, for a discrete math accounting problem. Uh, so we've got a restaurant that has three different kinds of appetizers, two entrees, and two desserts. We want to use a tree diagram to show this. So let's see. It's a smaller one. So we've got three different kinds of appetizers. So three different kinds of appetizers. Um, let's see. A1, A2, and A3. And then for each of those, we've got two entrees. So, so someone could order A1 and then either of the two entrees. two desserts so we could have the first appetizer the first entree and then the first dessert for the second dessert and then the first appetizer and second entree with either dessert and then so on so we can draw all those out there's two options for the dessert so d1 d2 d1 So on, and then so we can just list out what the various meals are. So we have A1, B1, D1, or going down A1, E1, D2. That would be down A1, E1, then D2. So, and, or we could have A1. Going down the second branch, E2, and then D1, and so on. So each of these problem nodes that represents a different meal we could have if we trace back upwards how we got there. So, so this represents A1, E1, D1, because that's how we get there. So, and then that means that there's 12 total. So there's 12 total nodes at the bottom. You count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then if you notice that here we have three appetizers, two entrees, and two desserts. So we just multiply 3 times 2 times 2. That's 12 different possible meals. Great, so hope that makes sense, and let me know if you have any questions, and hope you have a great day.